Furman Maggette, the power of we with thinking outside of the pot. We're all writers, so I think this is a fair question to ask. How many of us in this room have never had writer's block? Now, I know you're excluded, Brad. <laughs> I didn't think so. That hit me recently. I was thinking about how I could come up with a topic, a subject, that would focus on focus, determination, persistence. Something that was modern, germane, something I could reach out and touch, something that was practical. It didn't come to me easily, so I put it out to the universe. One day I was sitting out on my balcony looking at a cactus that I have. It's been with me for 15 years. Well, it looks like it may have disappeared. <laughs> Our thing shut down. But in the meantime, I'll explain to you. 15 years I've had this cactus. When I got it, it was a little bitty thing, like about six inches tall. Now, it stands stately at well over five feet. Now, the history with this plant is about five years ago, I transpotted it, put it into a 20-gallon pot. It was root-bound. Network of roots was amazing. Nothing could survive in that pot. That pot had a lock on the lot. When I say the message came to me, one day I was sitting on the balcony and I noticed that a weed somehow was stuck under my plant. Now keep in mind this pot weighs well over a hundred pounds. So I pulled the weed and resisted. So I deduced, after further inspection, that that weed had grown down through that pot during the course of about five years. So I imagine this type of conversation took place deep within the soil, between two seeding pods. The older one in germination we'll call OG. <laughs> the other one, the newer one, the baby, We'll call ooh wee. <laughs> now OG's job is basically to instruct the little one. So he put his vine around him. And he instructed him, everything that you want is right up there, right above the surface. W-L-A. So the little one said, you mean West Los Angeles, West Side? He said, no. W-L-A, water, light, and air. He said, but why haven't you? major spring for the water, the light in the air. He says, can't you see? We're here, all of these roots, they're tentacles, we can't even move. This is called root bound. He says, what I'm doing is I'm working on my book called The Way Things Could Have Been If They Weren't The Way They Were. Mm -hmm. He says, it's going to be picked up by this publisher called Complacency. So why don't you stay here, Uwe, and help me work on my book? And Uwe said, no, no, I'm going to do something different. And Uwe did something they're talking about today, I'm sure, OG is marveling at it. Uwe made a U-turn and started going down. Now, it may have taken him five years, but ever so often, OG would hear, Uwe, Uwe. <laughs> That's what happened. She found a way down through the hole. Now, keep in mind, that's solid. No light, no air, and all kinds of obstacles. And OG was saying, you'll never do it. Come back. It's never been done. Are you out of your freaking mind? But didn't listen. Just kept on pursuing. Kept on pursuing. Ooh, we had a new wee baby. <laughs> okay? Thick, strong. So if people tell you, don't think outside the pot, Sometimes you have to figure out what everybody else is doing and do just the opposite. It may take you five years, but you're going to see the light. 
Mm. And what that was, uh, and someone once said, someone drew a circle and didn't include me in, so I drew a larger circle and included them in. Mm. I took a look at my pot before I came here. If this week continues on, ooh we, I'm going to hear that shout throughout the day, but pretty soon it will take over the pot. It will have monopolized. So it will have included that cactus that's 15 years, it's solid, it's strong, it's got a network, an impenetrable network of tentacles of roots as it barriers the obstacle. He even asked, he says, well, did anybody ever try? He said, yeah, there was a guy named Clyde who tried, but as soon as he got to the other side, a weed whacker got him. So, <laughs> little one, life is futile, it's a struggle, then you die. So stay here and help me work on my book. Or, like who we said, good things are going to come to me. I'm going to will it to be. So you can sit there and watch and see, or you can follow me, and together we can say, ooh, wait. Thank you very much. <laughs>